Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to use Logic CS2 to make some synthesized toms. And I've drawn in my MIDI here. I've already got uh, the basic intro groove. I'll let you listen to that really quick. And here's the um, little groove that I've set up. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is set this to mono. And this is just the default that I've got. I might have saved my own user default because this is kind of the most applicable way that I usually would use this synth, but I'm going to set both of these to zero. What I did was I clicked Alt Option and it will return it to zero, it's default. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is pull the cutoff down a bit and I've got the blend set all the way over to the left. Turn the drive up a little bit. And then in thinking about like a drum tom, um, it's got a fast attack, kind of quick decay, and I'm going to pull these down to kind of help reflect that. And I'll pull up the release a little bit. So now there's two other things that I need to do in order to really get this sounding like a tom. Um, two, maybe three. But one of the first ones is that I'm going to need to make the cutoff um, kind of snap a little bit. So I've got cutoff one and two routed to envelope two here. I'm going to pull that up a little bit and I'm going to take this sustain down a little bit. The other thing that I'm going to do is set this first envelope here, I'll set it to mono, and what I'm going to set this to is the pitch of oscillators 1, 2, 3, set this to envelope 1. So you can hear it. doing its job there. What we're going to do is we're going to pull the um, DK down. And to get it sounding a little bit more um, sort of tonal like a tom, I'm going to switch all of these to square waves. I could take this one step further if I wanted to and switch one of these um, to actually switch this back to um, square and then I realized that oscillator 3 already has noise as an option. And that's basically it. We can add some distortion if we want. That's basically how I would make a sort of tonal sounding electronic tom. Let's listen to it back with the groove. If I want to take that a step further, pull up an EQ on it to help it match the track. I've got Fab Filters Pro Q2. And then Dynamics Compressor. 
bus four is where my side chain is located, so. And there you have it. How to make some electronic toms with ES2.